Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Pure Kicks, back with another comparison video and today we're going old school versus new school. Let's get it. So all we're going to do today is compare each aspects of both the Carry 3 and the Carry 4 and kind of let you guys know why we think the Carry 4 is an upgrade from the Carry 3. So let's get straight into it. So starting out with the traction of the shoe, on the Kyrie 3 we had the modified large herringbone pattern with the isolated traction pods which performed beastly out of the box. I'm talking straight away, great traction that we've always seen on the Kyrie and the Kyrie 3 was no exception to that. And what we have on the Kyrie 4 is the Staircase Tetris modified herringbone traction pattern which protrudes all the way on the outside of the shoe and on the inside as well. The traction on the Carry 4 was super strong, especially with the banking, the way it gripped the floor, it made sure that you were able to do all the quick twists and turns that Carry does. So the traction of the Carry 4 was super strong. But which was stronger? Which was stronger? I'm gonna say the Kyrie 3. I agree with you. Definitely stronger just because of those independent traction pods, which actually did the trick and of how it performed out of the box. Straight away. No breaking time, you just got busy tracking from the jump. And as soon as you did, you, it never stopped. So yeah. Kyrie free for me for sure. So moving up into the shoe, talking about midsole cushioning, over in the Kyrie free, we've got that standard file on foam with heel zoom as well. Nothing crazy, which is what we had seen since the Kyrie two and of course the Kyrie three. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Over here on the Kyrie four, what we have is a full length cushion on foam with a zoom in in the heel, which is definitely an upgrade, I think, from the Carry 3, because this stuff felt amazing. Definitely an upgrade, a much, a much, what's the word, what's the word I'm looking for? A highly anticipated upgrade. Yeah. We've been asking for it, Nike provided it, so I couldn't agree more. That Carry 4 cushioning? It's sublime. 100%. Good so work. good. So moving on into the fit and materials of the shoe, in the Kyrie 3, We've just got that synthetic mesh with overlays pretty much dotted around the shoe to increase durability. And over here on the Carry 4, what we have is a synthetic suede around the ankle containment area and then this engineered mesh backed up with nylon around the forefoot section and then some more synthetic suede around the toe area here as well. This is a huge upgrade in the Carry line because this is the first time, the first time that I have put on a pair of Kyrie's out the box to me. Out the box. And they felt comfortable. Comfortable, good work. Comfortable, bro. Good work. I definitely agree when it comes to just putting on the shoe out the box and feeling that comfort. And that's exactly what we got in the Kyrie 4, which has been a long time coming. Long time, bro. From the very beginning of the signature line, I believe, it's been a long time coming to have a comfortable Kyrie shoe out the box. When we're talking specifically to fit, on the Kyrie 3, definitely true to size. Out the box, just lace them up the size that you need. So you don't have a lot of padding inside the shoe, so it causes the shoe to be a bit stiff and really wear on the foot just a bit too much. However, on the Kyrie 4, they have definitely upgraded with the padding. It actually feels quite plush on the inside, plush. which is fantastic. I love the way this feels. So yes, well done Nike. The plushness with the padding is definite improvement. So moving on into the support of the shoes, in the Kyrie 3, we're seeing that four foot fly wire. We're seeing that overlay in the ankle containment and the internal heel counter to help with heel slippage. It's funny you say that actually, because over here we also have the fly wire over the four foot mm. issue, the TPU heel counter, mm. the synthetic materials that lock your foot down in the ankle containment. Mm. So the support system is exactly the same in both shoes, but something's telling me, mm. something same flow, the carry four support is just better. Yeah, I heard that too. It's just better. I don't know what it is. It just feels better. Maybe I'm just biased because it's an overall upgrade, but the support in the Carry 4, I think, is definitely better. I think what you're hearing, actually, is that the fit of each shoe as well is still quite similar. We spoke about that padding, yep. which helps with that support as well. The increased padding in the 4 just helps with holding the foot in one place. So I 100%. think what you're hearing is your feet talking to you saying, Flo, there's a lot of padding in here. We good. We good. So last, not least, but maybe one of the most important ones, the aesthetics of each shoe. Now, for me, I think I'm being biased because of this colorway, which is straight clean, yeah. straight flames. The Kyrie 3 has it. You know what? I'm going to agree with you. I think the Kyrie 3 looks maybe a little bit better than the Kyrie 4. The Kyrie 4 is still a nice looking shoe, but I'm going to give the point to the Kyrie 4 anyway. <laughs> All jokes aside, it definitely goes to the Kyrie 3. Yeah, I think they're both very good looking shoes. Not bad at this shoe, there are certain colorways that are absolutely fire, but the Kyrie 3 I think is the best looking Kyrie we have so far. The line. So we have to give the point to the Kyrie 3, but I think the Kyrie 4 is still the winner. So overall we have a winner, it's 3-2 to the Kyrie 4. Timmy and I both agree that yep. the Kyrie 4 is a definite improvement on the Kyrie 3. 
all the things the carry three was lacking. And not to say the carry three is a bad shoe, not the at carry all. three is a very, very good very shoe. Very good shoe. But all the things that us as perfectionists were wanting from a yep. carry shoe, which was improved cushion and materials, the carry four gave to us. So, alright, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And of course, comment down below which shoe you think comes out on top. If you had a chance to play in both, which of the Kyrie 3 or 4 is your favourite? And if you agree that the Kyrie 4 is the upgrade we've been waiting for. And as always, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Instagram is at purekicks.ig and Twitter is at purekicks underscore TW. So alright guys, that's it from us. This is the Kyrie 3. It's the Kyrie 4. This is Pure Kicks. Let's, Let's get, get it. it.